Hello, this is Steve equals true. Welcome to my video channel. Today is a fun day in Excel. If you didn't know already, Excel has a speech function. All you have to do is type text in any cell and then click on the speak cells button in your quick access toolbar. You can add it by going to your customized quick access toolbar at the top left hand side of your Excel program. Then choose more commands and then find the speak cells under all commands and add them to your toolbar. Then select the cell to speak and press the command on your quick access toolbar. You may ask yourself, when would I ever use this function? It can be used for people who are vision impaired. However, I have used it before to time speeches that I have created for executives to see how long it would take when we had limited time. Also, you need to check out my website because Peter has created a few really cool spreadsheets using Excel that sing some of my favorite songs throughout the ages. You can download them at http colon slash slash www.excel-bortemplates.com Okay, how cool was that? Thanks Peter for uh, giving me this idea. I remember I had I'd known about it before but I forgot about it because I don't use it uh, all that often but like I said I have used it before regarding uh, doing some speech timing for PowerPoint or for executives when you uh, have speech uh, writers or text that you want to convert into speech. So let me just show you quickly visually how to add that to your quick access toolbar. So if you come up here you'll see if I hover over my quick access toolbar you'll see it says speak cells. Just to the right of that you've got a customized quick access toolbar menu choice and if I click on that you're going to see there is a more commands section right here. If you click on that, you're going to get this dialog box. And in this dialog box, you need to choose the first uh, pick list or drop down list. And you need to choose all commands. All commands is the one we want. Once you have all commands, you have just a massive amount of choices that you can choose from. Uh, and uh, we're going to scroll down to the S's. And in S, we have speak. There's several speak choices. Uh, and let's get just a little bit farther. Okay, here we go. Um, so you see it says speak cells, uh, speak cells, or um, stop speaking cells. So that's how you can stop it without it. You can also hit your escape key. Uh, speak cells by columns, which is the default. Speak cells by rows, in case your text goes in rows, it'll tell Excel to go that way. Uh, and then speak cells on enter. If uh, someone hits enter, you can also do that. Now, uh, then once you find the one you want, you click on add. And it, this one says I've already got it in there. You can see it'll add it over here to the right. So if I want to do speak cells and stop speaking cells, I can just add that over here. Now it is in my quick access toolbar. Click on OK. You'll see up at the very top we have stop speaking cells and speak cells. So if I hit it again, Hello, it'll Steve start to talk. Two. Hello, Welcome this is Steve Equals True, channel. as you're hearing, Today and then I can just go ahead and hit stop and stop speaking cells. So that's how you add those to your quick access toolbars, and you can uh, definitely, you want to go to my blog at excel-boardtemplates.com and download some of the files that Peter created. He uh, threw some song lyrics in Excel, and uh, they're just fun to listen to. You'll kind of sing along, and you may learn some words to songs you just didn't know. So uh, thanks for, again for visiting my video channel. Hopefully you had some fun with this one. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Excel-BoardTemplates.com uh, to my video channel as well as to my blog so that you're sure to get the latest posts delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.